I love the theater. I have loved the theater uh, since my first real experience being involved in the theater as a really pretty pathetic actress. I realized that was not my career, but I wanted to be involved in the theater and I wanted to find something I could do well. And it turned out my background uh, stitching and sewing and patterning became very, very valuable. And it was something I could sell and uh, somebody was willing to buy. So this was very, very uh, beneficial to have those skill sets and those tools uh, that made me valuable to the career. It is only really very recently that clothing has come to the forefront as something that is collectible and is used for study. In the past it was very sort of arbitrary and occasionally somebody would donate a garment that people would study. Occasionally there would be a collection in a very unique museum. I'm actually a theater costume designer. Costume design is very, very different than fashion in that we are trying to define uh, characters for an audience that are not necessarily the people who are playing the role. So we do a lot of manipulation of uh, bodies and types and personalities to have the audience appreciate what the play is about. Very different than fashion. I've always called fashion wishful thinking. It's not necessarily who you are, it's who you want other people to think you are. And uh, in theater, we're very, very concerned about looking at a play, looking at the script, looking at the story, and illuminating and clarifying that story. And we're not necessarily trying to make somebody look wonderful. I think fashion, my feeling about fashion, is that fashion is as fashion does. You should choose fashions that make you look and feel your very best. In theater, that's not our goal. In theater, our goal is to speak to an audience about who's playing that role and help you understand who we believe that character and that person is. So the function of costumes is very, very different than fashion. And I actually do clothes for the theater. So fashion is involved, of course, and I use all the tricks they use in fashion, and I understand the rules of fashion, but our goals, our objectives are very, very different. My experience with dance has been uh, contemporary dance, modern dance, jazz dance, and I think uh, it's all about the movement, and you must make choices that enhance the movement of the piece. Usually the movement is designed to accompany or be accompanied by music. So listening to the music uh, is critical and understanding and appreciating the music is cr critical. But in dance, you're trying to really feature the dance movement. It's not about personalities, usually. I'm sure there are exceptions to that. And there are the story ballets we all know about. Those. But mostly dance is about movement and the choreography. What you want to do is have the choreographer look their very best by enhancing the movement that they've chosen. And that's about choosing fabric, it's about choosing texture, it's about choosing cloth, it's about choosing fit, it's about style, it's about relationships of parts to the whole, it's about focus. All of the principles, all of the elements of design are used in the same way in the theater as they are in dance design. So knowing those fundamentals, they're what's used in all art forms, really, in many ways, are critical. And um, I personally love color. I'm a big fan of color, and I know color is a sort of a dangerous, dangerous tool, which should be uh, handled with care and delicacy. Uh, but because I enjoy color so much, I want to push that envelope and again in dance you don't need to worry about color so much as you do need to worry about lighting because often the dancer becomes a palette for the lighting designer and it's really how the lighting plays on the clothing 
that is of consequence because the clothing is moving because of course it's about dance. Uh, I'm uh, Professor Claire Marie Verheyen and I teach the costume design technology classes at the University of Houston School of Theater and Dance.